Hey, what is up everybody? Today, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to convert from Celsius into Kelvin and vice versa. So let's say you want to convert 100 degrees Celsius into Kelvin. So it's very easy. All you have to do is use this formula, which says that Kelvin is equal to Celsius plus 273.15. So we know that C is 100 and 100 plus 273.15 is 373.15 so that is it 100 degrees celsius is equal to 373.15 kelvins now let's try doing a different problem so this time we want to convert 200 degrees kelvin into celsius so using the same formula we want to solve for c and we know that k is 200 so what we can do is subtract both sides of the equation by 273.15. Okay, so on the right side, 273.15 minus itself is going to be zero. So these two cancel out. And then on the left side, we have 200 minus 273.15, which is equal to negative 73.15. So this is our answer. And 200 degrees Kelvin is equal to negative 73.15 celsius at what temperature is the degree in kelvin the same as the degree in celsius so last time i showed you that negative 40 degrees fahrenheit is the same as negative 40 degrees celsius so notice that these two numbers are the same so this question is asking for the same thing it's asking okay what is the number in kelvin that is equal to the degree in Celsius where these two numbers are the same. So we're gonna use this equation again. And because the Kelvin is the same as the Celsius, we can set both of them into X. So they can have the same value, okay? And then if we solve for X, we will basically get the number where the Kelvin is equal to the Celsius. So let's try solving for X. Well, x is equal to x plus 273.15. That does not sound like an equation. So because we cannot solve for x, we will say that we don't have the number where the Kelvin is the same as the Celsius. So there is no answer to this question. Now it is your turn. So I would like you to try and convert from 25 degrees Celsius into Kelvin and then put your answers down in the comment section below. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have learned something new. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and then I will see you guys next time.